Today on the buy, learn a canal Igbo tutorials. I am going to learn a lesson if you are not yet to come. Then, because Igbo tutorials, I go on my car. I am not the bonanza. You know, Ebe, I am not the web portal. Open it in quadro be. Can you be do? Hello, my name is Blessing Ifnayachi Kuma. Welcome to Iwo Tutorials. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about the origin of the Igbo for Market Days. If you are ready, let's begin. So, the Igbos in the Igbo land, we have four market days, namely, I'm going to pick my pen, Eke. Ori Afo and Nko Eke Ori Afo Nko. So the story has it that this former kid days came to be during the reign of Ezen Jiro for one from 1300 to 1390 AD or thereabout or I hope I'm not mistaken so the story has it that one day four strangers came to the Ezes Obi that is his palace and they came along they pretended to be deaf and dumb and they didn't even uh, accept the Ezes Colanot, which is Oji, and in the Igbo land, the Oji is given as a um, welcome present when you have a guest, and it it is rude to actually reject the Oji, especially from a king. So the king was asking them their names; they refused to talk nothing the king sent for his servant adama to come and you know accompany the guests to their guest room where they can eat clean up and take a shower and after that the king called his wisest men to know about uh, how these strangers got come to his palace and are refusing to speak and to know if they are really really deaf and dumb as they are portraying themselves to be so the wise men advised to the king the Eze to bring rat which is okay to get a rat and introduce this rat into the rooms of this guest of strangers and they designated this task to the king's servant Adama. so the aim of putting this rat there you know how rats run around everywhere and so the rats went into the basket, which is Nkata, the basket of the strangers, making noise in the basket, you know. And as a guest in someone's house, and at night when you're sleeping, something is making noise. Of course, you want to know what's wrong. And it happened that these strangers started to call each other's name one by one, like, Eke, can you hear the sound? What is that sound? Then they can wake up or be like, oh, really? what is that sound? I don't know what that sound is. Without them knowing that, someone was listening to them. And that is the servant of the king, a dumb man. So, the next day, to their surprise, a dumb man, uh, came to their room to bring them water for washing and she was calling them by their names, and then that's when the strangers knew that their secrets were out and there's nothing they could do. So they um, agreed 
to the king that that was their name and then give the king this eating pot ite ona ite ona this clay is in pot and told the king to keep it in his shrine actually give the give the king for to keep it in his shrine and then the people to recognize this names as the four market day so that is the story that tells us the origin of this four market days in the Igbo land and for that reason now we have these four market days and we practice them in the Igbo now from this story and because of this we have some names that start with our market days the few names we have here is Mbeke. 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 It's like time, like when. Mbeke. The eke time. Mbeke. Mbori. Same with Mbori. Mbafo. Mbampo. Moving on. We have the male names uh, right here. We have Mweke. It's derived from two words, Mwa and Eke. Mwa is like a child. Okay? Mweke, the child born in Eke day. Here we have Mwori, same thing, child born in Ore day. Mwafo. Also, we have another way which we mail males born on this day. Okay, okay. Derived from two words. Okay, okoro, or some accents called okere, and then eke. Okorabia, okoro, okorobia. It's like a young man. Okay. So it was searching to okay, okay the young man born in Ekende. Okore, same, Okafo, and Okonkwa. So yeah, if you have any other meaning behind these names in your own culture or you've come along or read about, in your own Igbo culture, of course, please do well to let me know in the comment section. I'll be very happy to hear about the definitions of these names. And with this, we come to the end of this lesson. I hope you learned a thing or two about the Igbo culture and about our market days. Remember, practice, practice, and practice. Very important. Don't be shy, don't be embarrassed. I am still blessing if Naya Chikoma from Ibo Tutorials. Till next time, go send the vine.